Hello and welcome everyone to another Let's Play with the Developers episode. My name is Raycams and I'm one of the main developers of Mine Colonies. We're here in our neat little Patreon server. The bands of our patrons and I believe some addons, one of the other maintainers, is going to come on in a little bit. There's been quite some chat coming on, uh, going on already. I'm going to say hi to a newest follower, which is Momo. I'm going to give some hi through the list. Hi John, hi Dudeman, hi Roz, hi Kugo, hi T Tinty Tots, hi the only old man, hi Greg, um, hi Chef, how are you guys doing? Now about the brewer, that is something that is planned to be added to the tavern in the future. Um, hi the maniac as well and the idea of the brewer is probably to attract quest NPCs and similar things to a certain degree so it will not be it will potentially have some effect on happiness as well but mostly a positive effect if you have it and not a negative effect if you don't have it um, but yes it will be part of the tavern and it won't need an additional um, hut or anything for it how exactly it is going to work out I'm not sure we don't we know that yet maybe some add-ons already has a more concrete idea how the Oh, he's going to want that to be. Oh, I want that. What to be? The there, there was a huge discuss, discussion about the brewer. Oh. And I said the brewer is not going to be a new hut or anything, but it's something we've been considering adding to the tavern, like someone who is handing out alcohol in the tavern, basically. But I think we have nothing concrete on it yet. Oh, not really. Yeah, there's there's nothing concrete on it yet. How it's going to function? If he is going to create alcohol or whatever, that is. Just to the puzzle. Yeah, that we that's what we're going to see. We, we could have him after all, but um potatoes in the barrels and then after a while in the barrels that turns to alcohol or so or barley or whatever um, but yeah in general there's nothing defined about that 
in particular in particular yet. Um, about the baker, that's something we've um, discussed in the last episode. The baker is going to be probably changed because it is getting a fairly useless worker, needing a long time to make bread and these kinds of things. So people rather just get only the cook and are very confused about why they should have a baker. So the idea was to make the baker a normal crafter that would just create bread quickly without needing a furnace. Uh, however, the baker would then have four recipes automatically already depending on the building level, four or five or whatever, that do not exist in vanilla and you would get special type of food with special stats that you can't get outside of that worker basically. Okay, now we wanted to make this disenchanter here. For example, sweet bread, um, milk bread, um, and I said as well chorus bread. It would need like eight wheat and one chorus plant, and it would teleport you to the surface. I think that's quite a neat idea. Maybe, maybe it could like be bad for your stats you know but uh, it could maybe like cost you some health or so but it would uh, teleport you to the surface but yes it would be a an additional type of bread of food that we're adding to the game I just said v I just said sweet bread like made out of honey and milk bread so it would definitely be overpriced but unfortunately not vegan. Um iron do we have oh we only have 10 iron ingots left. So I got to bring some more of our iron ore to the smelter. Um, uh, 115 and 116 are going to get all features for the time being. Um, when we potentially only with 117 coming out, we are going to stop the support for 115. No, I, I didn't. Speaking of 116. Um, okay. There was this, that was the iron ore. Smelter iron ore, yes. Um, so yes, the Patreons were testing that version for a few days already. Uh, no, two or weeks or so. Uh, so we decided to make that release now. Okay, there we got some more iron ingots. I'm going to give you those iron ore here. Okay. Um, yeah, potentially the new military guy is eventually going to get their own training academy as well, yes. How's work? So, he's working on this. We got enough to make, I think, now the anvil for this recipe at least. Uh, it was the other way around, yes. And I do need an enchantment table and obsidian. Okay. And yes, um, Kugo is right. Okay, let's check if we have some obsidian lying around here somewhere. Obsidian. This one. Obsidian. This, that's black wool. 
any obsidian here. <laughs> that sounds like a good deal, Katja. Um, dum de dum. Do we have any obsidian anywhere here? Getting obsidian is kind of a pain. I think that's maybe the only obsidian we have, yes. So, I'll get a bucket and then we are probably potentially going to the nether um, and get uh, no, not to the nether underground and search for a lava lake or so and get some lots of obsidian in the end you're saying but that might be actually an alternative then where did the buckets go is the question maybe it uh Vanished in your backpack. Yeah, I'm very aligned with that. <laughs> it was in my backpack, yes, exactly. The bucket. Dun, dun, dun. The end, people said, has a lot of obsidian. I'm going to check that out. Okay. So it end was in this way. Okay. Let's go there. Ciao ciao Kugo. See you around. Um dum de dum. There we go. Oh I, I, I saw myself in that lava already. Okay. Here on the on the platform in the end. So, lots of obsidian in the end, someone said. Where? Just mine those. <laughs> Hi, Metal. Welcome. I can mine those towers. I didn't know that I can mine <laughs> those towers. So I'll get a little bit of obsidian here. Maybe just a little bit already in case we need it for something else. Dum -de -dum. Um, yes, we have a version here that is kind of a special version because we're testing out if maybe we found what is causing the inventory desync issue. So what is kind of making things vanishing in the inventories. So we are going to see if that is going to play out nicely. Um, and during the episode we are going to check on our workers regularly and see if we are still having those desync issues. No, no, this is 115, but this is like a pre alpha 115 build we've put here on the server um what level harvest level 3 it says but 12 harvest speed so yeah that hammer is pretty good to get obsidian fast <laughs> I have to jump into the well at the center of the island. I'll try not to forget that. Thanks. Um, yeah, my, a minor rework is in the progress by Asher, but that might or might not hit in a reasonable time frame, let's say like this. <laughs> so this might just take a long time as well. Um, I think I just want to get a little... I can use just the warp stone to come back. But yeah. I... D huh? Yeah, you can. That's probably better, quicker than... So I'm just going to bother some endermen to get a bit of experience. 
have for you and Shan. So this way I don't have to waste levels. Bother, bother them is maybe a bit too peaceful. <laughs> I'm going to kill them. No, MC Home is disabled on the server. Um, it's kind of difficult to find. Yeah, I'm going. I'm irritating them by looking at them, but they're kind of very irritatable, if you ask me. Just look at them and they're angry already. Seems like those 60 year old grandmas, you only have to look at them and they're already angry at you. Or you don't even have to look at them, you exist and they're angry at you. Angry with you. Right, we're going to add a worker that is a enderman psychologist and if you have that worker in your colony enderman sit in the school at the psychologist and don't half of the day and don't attack citizens <laughs> sounds like fun sounds like fun sounds sounds like something we definitely need <laughs> no no, I'm not serious. I'm not serious. <laughs> no, no, I'm just kidding. It would be fun, though. It would be fun, though. And we, we would insert a new AI task in the Enderman to make sure the Enderman don't kill the psychologist. But we could make it there's a random chance. <laughs> Yeah, Endermen are our precious little snowflakes. They feel massively insulted by looking at them. It's it's because you don't know this, but actually Endermen they have serious health problems. That's why they're so slim. <laughs> I'm going yeah, to teleport back. Um, death colony. There we go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is the plan. No, don't pick up your uh, your chairs. You're supposed to sit on them. <laughs> Endermen are going to bring their own chairs from other buildings. <laughs> okay, now I need um, two diamonds and books. Dum -de -dum. Um, two diamonds, two gold ingots, and a... how many books? One book. So, two diamonds. Uh, gold is down here as well. Two gold ingots. Okay. So first we gotta make a normal enchantment. Ah, we forgot the book. Wait, you're so forgetful. How do you do this? Here. Um, so we want the enchantment table first, and then we want the disenchant disenchanter. Okay, so we're going there in the other building. Hi, Docaris, how are you doing? We're going to the other building here. Place that one here potentially. Next chest. Um, I want this, and I have to put a book in the other one, so I need more books. Books, books, books. I've got like five books. It seems it costs experience. I hope it won't be so expensive. Okay. Mainly infinity is the most important one. Um, let's see how this is going to work out. Yes, this is the official Mine Colonies pack. Okay. Cost of three. Infinity. Power 5, and what's the last thing? Punch 2 and flames, not so necessary. Um, what did you do with the anvil, by the way, Samadons? Ah, it's here. 
Yeah, plastic rather our old anvil was. Uh, if I put infinity on it, here we got infinity on it and power on it. And now I'm out of experience levels. But that was kind of very lucky. It was like perfectly. I have one experience level left. <laughs> you aren't supposed to say that was lucky. It was skill or plan. Oh, oh, sorry. It was totally intentional. Yeah, to totally intentional. Oh, my fault. Uh, Our guards are requesting arrows, but even when they don't have the research to use it. So I guess blame Sam Adams for this one. Yeah. <laughs> Just wait to request without checking for the research. Oh. Um. Let's check if the smelter finished this. But I started the arrow research now, so. Okay, it's in Ooh, here. Yeah. <laughs> How's work? Oh, he is hungry. He will go to the uh, uh, restaurant. Okay. Yes. Finished building stone mason. I kind of feel like hitting these to keep visitors. But I know they're going to be mad. Just try it out. Because they're they're dancing on top of the roof here. Yeah. I mean, if you hit him, he falls down, so he can't really get up to you anymore. Oh yeah. Um. Yeah. I know that they have the code to attack me if I do that, so I better don't. <laughs> Here's missing two sandstone at the secret entrance. Okay. The stone. Let's check out our two workers there, and potentially we're going to already click the upgrade to the next level. Ah, that's here. And the other one is still mining out the area, it seems. Still? God damn it. Okay. Upgrade, higher, and we got the sandstone and the red sandstone recipe here. Let's check out the worker hut. Relatively simple worker hut. And it's level 1 yet. Let's check. Who was that finished? It was Fortune. So Connor here is requesting something probably. Let's check what Connor is up to. Okay. Connor. Let's get started. Is waiting for delivery. Okay, I can give you have a lot of sandstone, you don't need sandstone delivered, but you do need a pickaxe delivered, I know that. If you say so. Hmm. I think we need some some better door AI. Better door AI? Yeah. Even those Bebex doors which are Two blocks apart don't work. Yeah, we potentially it's, it's probably just a question of making the making it a little bit stricter to how close they have to be to the door to trigger it. Yeah, I think what one also can easily do is the position they're facing. The door you used. <laughs> no, just the position they're facing. Yeah, to use the. You can even remember the position. It's not hard. It's like a store. And then I close this door again. Um this is the clarity resource pack I'm using here as well. I got a bow now. Great bow. I can put the other one away as well. So the only thing that I'm missing yet, I got some decent armor. I got some decent tools. The only thing I'm missing is a decent sword. I'm still having an iron machete. Okay, that one here is it is he still hungry? How's it going? I think so. 
Does, doesn't the cook have any food at the moment? Let me check down here. There seem to be a bunch of hungry people around. I don't think so. Yeah, I we think might be out of food. It seems like we are out of food. We don't have many food building buildings either yet. We got the fisherman. And the farmer. And the farmer. And the shepherd. I'm going but to bring some China. potatoes here. Uh, I don't have any f a lot of food on me myself. I won't be able to help a lot with that either. But I'm going to get the compost I requested here. Maybe I'm going check to our warehouse for how much food. I'm going to request more compost. That one, yes, now it worked. And um, yes, our smelter is still um, waiting for food, but now the cook should be able to ha to hand that out. I'm going to check quickly on our warehouse if we don't have any fish there, because we do have a fisherman. Unless we our should fish have plenty potatoes as well. Um, and welcome, Carlos. Maybe we are we uh, should add a minimum stock of baked potatoes to our. We have two cooked restaurant. salmons, two cave root. Um. One raw mutton, sixteen apples, two hundred five raw cods. So that's some decent food, at least. 84 raw salmon. But doesn't seem to be the devil then. 103 bread. And 44 diamonds. That's pretty neat. Our miner got a decent amount of diamonds out of there, there already. 44 diamonds our miner got us. We are much luckier with the miner in this world than we were in the previous server. I get better? Why don't you check on the cook? I can help, I guess. Oh, he has no fuel to spread stuff. Ah, he doesn't have what any fuel. What can I do for you? Yeah. And do you say so? That might be the There's problem. In the color of the guess so. And do you say so? Okay, I'm going to give him some fuel. We set all something to smell, to my lord. <laughs> we might not have a lot. Do we have a bunch of oak planks? Well, it was any planks. Let me check. <sighs> um, did them. Or we do not have a sawmill worker yet to do the crafting of it, right? Yeah. So. Them. Well, he could do the crafting himself as well. And welcome Rita Lobo as well we to our do stream. We have all our 200 uh, coal items in our warehouse, so we should be able to use those. Yes. Um, I wanted to start the research for the plantation, potentially. I do have enough compost for it now. So let's start I guess this. His uh, coal request just got stuck. Yeah. That is possible as well, or this seems to yeah. be the case. So, I guess maybe the smelter is just is, are they? Yeah, they're still all down there, crammed around. I guess okay, the smelter still didn't get any food. Yeah, he made a new. Pool request. How's the work going? Or coal as I well. Help, I guess. And the warehouse has coal, but he won't get it mm. delivered. It's weird. weird. We saw a player. How's the work going? No. Not good oh. enough for you. Yes. Oh, we have yeah. to check that if maybe the because that is a new one of the new things. 
Um, Mechler coded. Maybe that fuel. I'm going to write it on a list for the weekend. Uh, fuel yeah, request. Maybe those fuel things don't work. I think the stack list request might be broken. Yeah. It's because we added that the stack list request is going to hand the list to the warehouse to make an O of one check. And that could be what is failing. Yeah, at least it's a uh, new thing that's related. The back room. Let me check on the back room. If there's any. Yeah, there are potatoes, but no baked potatoes. But he's now taking care of things. I'm going to take those out. Give them to Nathaniel potentially. Yes, sir. I'll take care of it. I took out all the cooked ones now. Right yes. Away, now I got the baked potatoes and. In a second, he's going to take out the iron to get us some iron bonus. I'm still... I was, like, I'm kinda not very happy how we have to make it fairly hacky, how we double the iron ingots. I'm still thinking about how we could do this better. Hi, John Fall, how are you doing? Like, oh, the only... Oh, doubling. Yeah. The only thing I could think about is something like, I don't know. I mean, we could make him a crafter and just use it as special recipe and yeah, but, um, pretend to use the furnace. Yeah, but he needs to use the furnace, that's the problem. Yeah, the we only can just pretend. The only thing... Consume fuel. A, a tin Tinkers has a different... has their own smelter oven so that solves it I think something we could do potentially is add a recipe for like with something we call ore scraps and the miner only melds ore scraps and those have then recipes and he creates ore scraps out of ore in that ratio basically and all crabs then have yeah, those advantages. Custom, custom could work fine. Need something smelted. Okay, he's still got the iron ingots in his inventory. I'm going to take a bunch of them. And we're mm. out of iron again. Mm. Mm. Again? God damn it. Again, we're out of iron. That always goes way too quickly. Wow, and like every third episode I'm, go I'm going down there in the mines to get some this iron. Some more iron. Yes. Let's see how our builder is now working on the other thi things. Is it our stone mason finished? Our stone mason is finished. Our stone smelter is not. I think then we can also start our research for the crusher. Ah, for the crusher, yes. We got currently the stone um, mason level 2 in progress. He is progressing fairly quickly, our, our builder. And I haven't given her any resources yet. Everything she got up to now from the warehouse. Right. Or from her own stock. Oh, and we got or. too many researchers in progress. Yes. Why are they taking so long? They are almost so, finished, though. They're almost finished. Who made that? <laughs> I just started one, but the other two are almost finished. Nah, I just started one as well, so just one is almost finished, like seventy percent. Ah, okay. Eh. There we go. I started all so the other citizen hut upgrade here we got our stone mason. Um it's going out. It's going uh, coming along fairly nicely our colony. But finally our stone mason finished. Now stone yeah. smelter 
really close to getting finished. So our colony is getting along. I think the sawmill research is really close to finishing. I'm just double checking that. Oh, nice. So we can get a sawmill then as well. Relatively Thanks, soon. John. <laughs> huh? Oh, John came along and gave me four stacks of iron ingot. Oh, thanks a lot, John. That helps. Oh, yes, our sawmill is finished. Um, we should get... See, we shouldn't <laughs> get our stuff ourselves. Just, just <laughs> ask our patrons. Could we maybe get some stuff? Uh, that one got a missing texture because of Opti is not fine. Um, yeah, let, let me. I'm going to put a bunch of sa of that sandstone in the warehouse. Let me do that real quick. Because um, the dumb. Then potentially we set we set up a minimum stock. Yes. Oh no, the iron I want to keep. This here we can put. Um, getting a bit more. Utility iron, I want oh, to keep the sticks. Oh, That's neat. Yes, we got the sandstone recipe in there. <sighs> yeah, finally. I'm going to bring him some cobblestone instead. Uh huh. Not okay. Fully automated some since we can't make sand yet. So we do need the sawmill now. It's three wooden axes. Okay. I don't have. I don't have any wood with me. So back uh, into the we, warehouse. Did we research? Research it. Yes. Okay. I did started nice. research recently, and it. Just finished as well. Um, three of them. One, two, three. Then. Oh, I do not have a build tool with me, do I? Nope. One of our night sight again. Yes, I read it. This is happening fairly regularly. Wait. We do not have we they're currently not really we should set the the archers on the top of their towers definitely though. Now that we have the update of the guards Auto. here on the server. Yeah. At least to try it out. Um here and then the three axes. <laughs> Minimum stock. Yeah, since Okay, I got this sawmill here. And I'll go to our guard tower. And I'm going to set the guard on the top level. Okay, how how high should I set our sandstone minimum stock? How much do we have okay. at the moment? Okay. I think the question is how much do we have at the moment? Sandstone. We do have 5k in our warehouse. Where is that from? <laughs> Why am, I, am I gathering sandstone myself? We have 5k? That's a decent quantity. Yes. Maybe we should make that we always have like 1k in the warehouse. I think that's potentially a good minimum quantity to have around. Um, so, we got that one set up here. What can I, do for you? I, I told him now we need 64 stacks of things. So. Like, yeah, yeah. Six. Um... I think that's 4k since on yet. That's maybe a bit much. Let me make it like 32. No, no, no. <laughs> Next time we upgrade our university, it's gonna be like 
Hey, I need 10k cents though, if you think you know. <laughs> no, the next level of university I think starts needing diorite. <laughs> Maybe. Wait. Let, let me double check what the next level of the university I'm needs. I'm now. <laughs> Yeah, I do like the voice pack as well. What is oh, the next? No. Stone bricks. 3.6k. Diorite. A lot of diorite. A l wow! Yeah. Stone bricks. Like, wow! Stone bricks. And wow, diorite. 8k diorite. The diorite <laughs> is not the problem. I guess we have a ton of diorite. Yeah, we got 5k, luckily. Imagine we didn't have. But we should potentially we should potentially set up like a thousand um, like maybe like ten stacks of um, stone bricks and ten stacks of stone brick stairs or so. That's six hundred and forty. That's I think a decent quantity without being too exaggerated. Um, we got a visit from the guards down here. Upgrade, he said. Okay. He's still waiting. Meanwhile, I can check what Fortune is up to. I I believe she has um, an open request now. Oh yes, yeah, we should teach the... What's it today then? Stone stairs. Sandstone stairs. Okay. I'm going to teach... We should probably wait. I'm going to alter that 64 stacks <laughs> a little bit and set instead also sandstone stairs in it. Yeah, that's 64 stacks of stone bricks. You're exaggerated. <laughs> Not at all. It's like 200 above what we need. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it's a minimum stock. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Stone brig. Who knows which other buildings are like that? <laughs> and just uh, set it high so that by the time we want to upgrade our university, we did get so much. So 16 stacks of stone bricks. God damn it, Faye. What a thing, big. Uh, ah, not sword. Big. Stone. We need. I want uh, stairs as well. First of all, I want six. Yeah, yeah exactly. Sixteen <laughs> stack of sandstone stairs and sixteen stacks of sandstone. And we don't. Do we have anyone who can make that? Sixteen stacks of cut sandstone. And oh, our wow, stone mason should get those resides, right? Um, smooth sandstone, sixteen stacks. Okay. Um, I'm missing the other stairs yet. Okay. Stone brick stairs, sixteen stacks. Okay. That should be fine quantity now. And I'm going to check on our stone mason for recipes now. So, I want stone brick stairs as a recipe, obviously. But I also want sandstone stairs as a recipe. And smooth sandstone stairs as well as a recipe. And I think diorite stairs were also in that list, wasn't it? Yeah. Uh, like diorite stairs as a recipe too. What else do we need? Uh, just stone brick. How about we never upgrade it? <laughs> just normal stone brick as a recipe as well. Done. Okay. Potentially, let's check out fortune now. Because her request should have switched now from the player 
to the stone mason. Let's see if that worked out. But what apparently it did. You? Yes, it did. I did I did I mess this up? Did I teach chiseled sandstone to sandstone stairs to the stone mason? It would be kind of stupid. We double check that. Polished diorite, yes. I didn't. I teach this. Nope. Um, diorite, polished diorite. Here. Did I? How was it? Chisel sandstone. I did the wrong recipe. I didn't know that you could use chiseled sandstone. I did. I'm going to take that one from inventory. But this way, I'm going to teach the right recipe for sure. <laughs> Done. Okay. Yes, sir. Now we got the right one. Okay. Now let us check if now it's set up correctly. Oh no. You only need a hammer yeah. and some stones and ready cancel is it. the new house. Yeah, I had to cancel Whoa, it. This looks fantastic. What's next? I didn't know that either as you can make normal stairs out of chiseled. Out of chiseled and out of cut sandstone. <laughs> and um Yes, we have we have already a 116 um, schematic server set up, and it is our plan in the future to start and incorporating all the 116 blocks in the schematics as well. Probably, especially the chain. I think the chains, especially our schematic authors, are going to have a lot of fun with. No, they're only smooth and normal sandstone stairs. Um, okay. With those things set up, now I can see where I'm going to place this sawmill. Let's see, probably there together with the other crafters. Let's see if we have some space somewhere around here. Let's see how big that sawmill is. Um, this looks bad. This does look really bad. <laughs> I think... Yes. I think um, we're going to have a crash in a little bit. Um, it seems Nitinum broke the schematic rendering. Oh. <laughs> That's why. Yes, you are crashed or time down. Yeah. Let me write him already directly. Du, du, du. Good that it's weekend, so he can now fix it. <laughs> no, no excuses. Um, yes, so that seems to be broken. So we are good that it was not a crash, so we don't have to turn that on. But yes, and turning on Opti Optifine would have to would require me to restart, and that takes so long. I don't want to do that. Just told Nightingale to fix the Optifine support because it was working fine previously. He just adjusted a few things. 
Um, it's still broken. Great. Want me to place it? Maybe inviting works. Um, I don't know how how he did that, but he like seriously broke shit. <laughs> Like I don't, I think the rendering is still turned on of the build tool. Is there a way I can close the build tool? Yeah, open it and click X. Yeah, but I can't find it. Uh, Give click, you the next one. Click X. No, oh, you're gone again. I'm gone, I'm what gone. What are you doing over there? <laughs> I had a fun night in him. I had a fun night in him. Um, so I have to turn off the shaders quickly. Quickly, yeah. I think switching to eternal shaders is quick. <laughs> Rendering X has suffered a critical meltdown. Yeah, that's what it seems like. Oh lord, Nidenum. How did you break this completely? <laughs> it was working fine. Yeah, there are native shaders in Minecraft 116 now, but they're not really shaders. They still kind of suck. It's a new yeah, feature. Say I like take chuck takes, but not even nice. <laughs> it, it's because it's not shaders, it's post processing. So it's not really shaders. Um yeah. So we're loading up again. Server. Good thing that doesn't take a minute or so either. Or three or five. Okay. Okay, that works. At least with the texture pack, it still looks kind of good. What happened here? Ah, that's the build tool rendering. Okay. So. Now, that's the sawmill of the Space Wars. How does this... That one is pretty... Wood heavy. Um, potentially that one fits better next to the lumberjack. Although I have to say I do enjoy I do enjoy the extremely high FPS <laughs> I'm having now. <laughs> oh, everything is so smooth! I can turn and run. <laughs> Oh, sorry. I'm still without video. Yes. There we go. You're still bearing with me. That's good. Um, dum -de dum So, I think potentially putting it here behind the sawmill is a pretty good fit. Something like this. Like those things here, and a general theme fits relatively good um, with the lumberjack. Just gotta make sure that we're outside of the lumberjack. So that here is what restricts the lumberjack area. So we are invading into the miner. Um, is there a door on the other side as well, or yes, it should be fine like this. Yeah, that should be perfect. Ta-da! Build sawmill, and I'm going to take down those trees for the builder already. Going to be quicker. Oh, sorry. The lumberjack just came here to cut down the tree himself. I did it for him. 
Mm. Here another one. Yeah, I don't want those saplings to grow in the middle of the sawmill. That would be kind of awkward. I cut down this one here too. Or yeah, those torches are the corner. I thought so. Okay, that's better. Um, um. Yeah, I'm going to use that dirt to place some more trees in the other direction, definitely, yes. I'm getting the dirt here. Um, dirt in the desert. That's a valuable resource. Fertile soil in the desert. Yeah. Um... And then we're just going to move that a little bit in this direction here. Like this. We put even a little bit here around the hut. Like this. Okay, so here an acacia, here an acacia, here oak, acacia, 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 perfect. And I'm going to take those saplings, and take them to the lumberjack. Yes, here we go. What are you needing? Okay, re requesting an axe. I'm going to do my best work for you. So, I hope so, Polly. I really hope so. I'm going to check on the miner. Leah is needing anything. But it doesn't look like. Doesn't have any resources here with her either yet. See, she seems to be doing fine. Here. Can't handle the I'm heat. Sure about the quality of this iron. Okay. That, that's like a, that's a nice reality check. Does my colony still look good <laughs> without shaders? <laughs> but yes, I think uh, it looks pretty decent. Nothing to complain about. Yeah, it does. I always play with all shaders. Um, let's check how Fortune is dealing here. I can help still, you with that. Yes. Our delivery men are still slow. We need more delivery men. Yes, Manuel. They citizens grow up just by themselves if you give them food. Potentially we should get the school next. Do we have that researched? Oh, I think so. Let's check. Yes, yes we do. So, yeah. Two. Here. Connor is stuck. He had all the tools, but he was stuck down here now. And I'm going to finish what I started of assigning the archers to the top of their towers. I was I was just thinking which weird guard is jumping around like that. <laughs> it was you. <laughs> if someone is jumping around, highly likely it's me. Like, didn't code anything I said. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So we got her like stationed here in the top as well. Um yes, you can ha you the borders of the colony depend are dynamic depending on your claim radius. So yes, those 
you can have like multiple borders depending on how your colony is depending on how you grew your colony you need shears okay I can help you with that ouch I hit my finger again there we go the farmer Got a bunch of potatoes, that's good. Let me check out our composter. Should probably already trigger the next level upgrade already again. What? You think I'm not strong enough? Watch yes, me. I can rob some the compost of her again. Um, yes, you can place a building within your border always, but only within it. Oh yeah, I should teach the blacksmith um, scissors pro probably, especially because she is like far out. I don't want to run there all the time. Let me do that quickly. Although the rubber banding completely stopped on the server. We have what? constantly more people online and it's pretty smooth. Can't handle the heat. Um shears. There we go. Oh I've never seen that sampling to fail. Yeah, he needs up. Um, <laughs> yeah, you should not have your standard colony size so huge. Oh, I think you did, <laughs> did the text formatting wrong. <laughs> the visitor right, in wall died in from Roland. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the general idea is to have the colony dynamic. I think that is also going to be much more interesting for you when you play. So you start with a 6x6 six six radius. Oh, it didn't work. Yes, thanks Tinty Tots. I might have just ignored that message. Let me, try, let me check here. That's a knight. Okay. So there's only that other guard tower left to check on. Um, we are hosting on Bisect Hosting. Um, we've partnered with them so this way if you use our coupon code you can get like a a percentage off of your first purchase. You can find that on our curse page and a link in the mod pack as well. Yeah, that 20 by 20 is not by default, definitely not. The default I think was 6 by 6 or so. I think 20 by 20 is maybe the maximum it goes. Yeah, 20 by 20 is by default max. Yeah, it's the maximum, it's not the default. Is the maximum it can grow with the dynamic growth. So we can go maximum 20 by 20 in this direction and maximum 20 by 20 in this direction. Yeah, that one is only the max that it can go. That's fine. I don't think you can ever get to 20 by 20, to be honest. At least not if you build pretty centralized. Maybe if you build a very long colony, but not. So yeah, it's, but it's disencouraged as well because kind of bad because the colony won't be able to function entirely. Yeah, because you can only load one side. <laughs> yep. I'm going to place a second delivery man here and get that one, that build started soon as well. Here. Okay. Potentially we make it one lower. 
could have them like back to back like you go up here and down there I think that would be nice those are back to back here potentially we could make them even overlap no that was might be a stupid idea to only have one here maybe one, one between I think that's the best yes <laughs> No, the supply camp or ship don't have any effect on your colony size whatsoever. Just have to find where the office was again. Um, I think it was here. That should be fine here. Yes, found it. And build. Created. It's creating a slope to walk down. And then we just put the next owl. <laughs> Fail. We put the next one directly behind it too. Be a nice line of delivery man basically. One over. So it would then go here we do want that is I think aligned here um, and aligned here yes aligned here and aligned here so that is going to place it here that one here is going to be empty and that one is going to be empty. They made this one here to end exactly one before to only have one empty between them. So it should be like this. But this one here is going to be empty basically. So that worked. Yes. Gotta find the chest quickly. Uh. Where's my pickaxe? There we found it. And build created it as well. So. And Feral. Wow, wow, Feral. Feral gifted out five tier one subs again to a bunch of our new and old. Um, Followers, thanks a lot, Farewell. That's a great gift. Yes, the tape is the empty block, exactly. Okay. Um... Ninja is saying that his CPU usage got better since the restart too with the newest version. But I don't think we have anything that could affect the client side, do we? Mm -hmm. Not sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that makes it a very happy Friday indeed. Client restart. I'm not sure what... Um, the school was the next thing we wanted, right? Let's already plan out our colony a little bit. Feathers. Um, up here. I think we have some feathers. Just enough. 
and we already plan out the remaining parts of our colony. Cool. It's one of these opti not fine blocks. Now the school we do want probably somewhere close around here. But we do not have a lot of space left. Let's see how big the school is in the first place. Oh, that's a well. <laughs> okay. That's Acacia. Space Wars. Yeah, the Space Wars school is relatively long. Not very big. Definitely not small enough to fit anywhere here. So we would want it within the colony borders for sure. <sighs> yeah. Hmm. Where do we want that? So, ouch. Here we have definitely some space left. I do want another, maybe another citizen hut here. I'm not sure it, if it will fit. Uh, probably won't fit. Maybe we can put the school here then. Because it's relatively long. But thin, yes. It looks like it would fit pretty nicely in this area here. Like this. I think that would be perfect place for the school. So now we just need to find out where the school block is. Which is probably... No, that looks like a bathroom. Um, if you ask me, it's probably around here, but Optifine won't show it to me. So I'm going to place it here. And then... Ah. Wait, I placed a school by accident. No? Where's the school block then? Did I drop it? Yes, I did. Oh, I love Optifine. Um, school. Space Wars. Like this. And then down. I think I have the block on the right location. Just rotated it and it went exactly in the position I want. And welcome Super Dogman as well to our followers. How are you doing today? What brings you here? Okay. I'm just gonna mine this. And then mine straight down here. Take a little bit out extra. And mine around here a little bit. <laughs> there we got the school block. Build building. Can maybe help the builder a little bit already. Mind out a little bit for him. It's the problem is that Optifine really doesn't care anything about trying to achieve compatibility with other mods. And that's that's why we rant about Optifine. Optifine, they're doing a good job at providing shaders to the community. The problem is that they don't give a shit about the other modders and just break things and don't care about it seems. And then mods have to adjust to them instead of them making sure that they're compatible with what the other thing other people in Forge do. And wow, yes, we're already at 409 followers now. 
I hadn't even paying attention to the numbers of the followers. I thought we were still like in the in the two hundreds. <laughs> that's nice. Well, Four hundred followers. That's a decent. Uh, that's a decent growth we are having on Twitch. Uh, YouTube is not giving us a lot of growth. Comparing, I think YouTube we get like thirty followers per month. <laughs> Yeah, wasn't so much. Which is not a lot at all. But we we just we hit four thousand YouTube followers this year as well. So we're making progress with our YouTube channel as well, even though it is an extremely sl slow pace. But Twitch has been a better format for us. Especially because it's kind of... I don't have to spend time on post-processing of the videos. So that is a big advantage as well. Let's get some doors here. Yeah. You, you tell that to Optifine. But they don't care. They do their thing. And that's it. That's kind of the problem of it. What do you mean with bark level? John, never heard of that. Oh yeah, it's definitely much more interactive on Twitch. That's true. Um, we got those here still open. Found them. Let's see how Fortune is doing with her stone smelter upgrade, actually. Okay, so the crafter crafted the sounds on the stairs and now we're waiting for the D-man to deliver it. We did some progress on that. <laughs> That's always good for a wolf, definitely. <laughs> um, ah, under 5000 is bark level, yes. Um... Although I have to say one thing that is, I think, fairly difficult on Twitch, and that is content discovery. Like, here and there I check through the different Minecraft YouTubers, and try to find people that play modded, and could be like, uh, not YouTubers, um, Minecraft mod streamers. But it's very difficult to find, like, who is streaming modded, like, right now. It, it's impossible to find out. Most people are just streaming high pixel or um, vanilla hardcore mode and these kinds of things. It's very difficult to find out who is doing that. To be honest, finding who is streaming Mind Colonies, I do have people telling me via Discord, etc. Or people posting on, on Twitter, but not actually by the search function on Twitch. That's one of the things. So what is Connor up to? Okay, 51% of the stone smelter now, very nice. Uh, no, I don't think we have a command for Twitter. Is, is there a neat way to set that up? Yeah, it's similar as the search function on Curse Forge, <laughs> exactly. Um, 
Yes, I saw that Kaisen started a new colony and is doing some... It's like has the town hall on a platform somewhat high. I check that out these days. That was on on YouTube though, where I saw this. And welcome Trottel. Trottel Tortellini. <laughs> yeah, I, I got that you me meant a... A, a, a new a new bot command yes command but I <laughs> um, but how would that work how would that bot com command be would it give you like a pre twitter link or something like that to share the stream um yeah, check out the stone smelter. Yeah, Kaisen, Kaisen is is, uh, is doing pretty nice things for mine colonies because his mine colonies formats in YouTube are like super popular. Like he get he got in 24 hours more mine colonies um, um, views on his on his no on his number one video. In 24 hours, that number one video got more views in 24 hours than we get per month in total. <laughs> and... Oh, there's a bot for that. I'm going to write that on my list. Twitter bot Twitch. Okay, on my list for the weekend. He got in 24 hours, I think it was 27,000 views on uh, on his Mind Colonies Let's Play video on YouTube. I, I, check, I check in regularly on his Twitch stream. But he usually streams at hours when I'm working, so it's relatively difficult for me to tune in regularly. But I checked in on a few of his streams already. Uh, where he's al always also was doing some Mind Colony streaming, yes. <laughs> um, nice. That's a relatively expensive building having like sandstone ones all around the border yeah I have to say he's fine he's <sighs> probably needs another line yes starting there the other line and then he's basically going to be only placing ladders I guess that's so that's pretty nice <laughs> John, John complaining about me complaining. I'm not complaining actually. I think it looks pretty neat. Um, although it's fairly expensive for the first level, I think the crafter buildings are kind of excused if they're a little bit more expensive because they are more like mid-game, non 100% essential buildings. So I do not have a big problem with them being a bit more expensive. I do have a problem when absolutely necessary buildings are overly expensive. Here, fortune is trapped. How do our builders always get? <coughs> she was walking in a in a hole. Yeah, there are a bunch of gaps around here that I mined out and she walked into one of the gaps to continue building. <laughs> run, Fortune, run! Okay. I can already... let's click the upgrade to level 3 already. 
get our buildings upgraded nicely. Okay, now he's here on the last spur. Yeah, no, it was literally really helping because if I hadn't done that, then she would have uh, been stuck down there all the time. I have to recall her. Because I want her to start building the school. Or the sawmill at least. There we go. Oh, she's starting on the composter. Okay. Um... Would be nice if the stone mason could use stone cutter recipes. That's actually s something I've talked about in the last stream as well. We are going to add, let's say, a, not that exactly, but a similar functionality to the game. Um, the overall idea, basically, is to allow our workers, our crafters, to find more efficient ways to to craft things like let's say when your um, sawmill is making oak stairs depending on their primary level skill there is a possible chance that they will find a cheaper recipe that needs less planks and then the requirement would be that only that at least one block is required for it of each of the blocks in the recipe so for example a piston always will need iron and um, redstone since only one is needed but for example um, a blacksmith co could find a better recipe to create legin um, iron leggings only using five or four even iron ingots that's basically the idea of it So this kind of gives you a motivation to have the crafters and give them regular tasks such that they will create more efficient recipes than you can craft. Even for you, if you need iron armor, eventually the crafter can provide some that is cheaper than crafting it yourself. Or even diamond armor. Okay, Janet grew up. Got the builder, yeah. I think he, yes, he's now placing those up here. And I guess the next step is going to be torches then. Yeah, the mechanic could find a cheap recipe for rails, for example, exactly. Exactly, that's the idea of it. That kind of motivates you to request things through the crafters, such that they can have chances as well. Oh yeah, there could be a, a recipe that only needs <laughs> that only needs two iron blocks. I, it, it just always kills me seeing that uh, our wizarder in wall died from Joel. <laughs> ah, it just always makes me giggle. <laughs> that is just that's just. At least we got the death cause though. At, at least we know the death cause. But not sure how they even get in there, so yeah, not that helpful. I think it was on spawn, that one. <laughs> mm, could be. No, the update should not have removed any waypoints. It didn't mi mix with that. <laughs> yeah. But they can get most of the server crashes. Um, I'm interested if anyone uh, did anyone have any issues with the craft uh, with the 
citizens voiding items since the restart. Ah, he was talking about the journey map. Yeah, I was thinking my colony is way expensive. <laughs> yeah, but it only gets re did it get removed? No. It only gets removed if you update it via like multi MC. I don't know how Twitch does it, but GD Launcher does it smartly. Yeah, at least for GD it work for me. <laughs> Let's see. Just one time I had to reinstall because it didn't want to update. She's working on the composter. She needs a bend wow, she needs two hundred and fifty one red sandstone for that one. Yeah, I can says up. <laughs> We don't have a dyer yet to make red sandstone. We have the research for that wet. Hi Hannah Banana, how are you doing? Not sure. Wait did our guard die go? Implantation? Crusher. I think I'm going to start the Crusher research. Let's see if I can get it started. Yes, started the Crusher research. Ah, you started the Consume Arrow research? Okay. Yeah. Ah, to get the arrow piecing, piercing one as well. I think yeah. potentially we should have, when you fix the thing, of the arrow requests if you don't have to research maybe there should be an option in the building to turn off arrow requests as well oh. since you need it to unlock yay stone smelter is finished let me go there and let's teach a few recipes here Um, um, let's start this one here again. Yes. Yes. That is very unfortunate. If you have if you use something different than Twitch or GD Launcher, you have to always copy that over. Oh wait. Sophie is the better one. Now teaching recipes. What do we want here? We definitely want stone as a recipe. Stone bricks? No, stone bricks are made differently. Do we have a crafter who can make stone bricks? Yes. Which one? The stone mason. Oh, I thought you were at the stone mason. No, I'm at the stone smelter. Ah, that's slightly different. Um, yes, smooth sandstone, definitely. Um, sandstone, smooth sandstone. What else is there to stone smelty smelt? Um, I think, wait. I go like this. Stone. Smelting. Like there's a generic thing on smelting. No, there is not. Clay, clay to brick, yes. Brick. Um. I can teach those here. I need actual clay for that. I don't have any clay with me. Potentially I want to get nether rack to also teach that. So let's sort of run there quickly and get some nether rack. And see if we have some clay around there. Maybe some charcoal as well, yes. 
can do that too. Nether rag. Okay, we don't need one for that. Do I have any clay around here? Clay. Ah, here, we got clay. Great. Going to bring a bunch of it in the warehouse already, too. Dum -de -dum. Ah, let's walk there quickly first. Oh! Here, each recipe, play, each recipe, nether rag. Um. Yeah, potentially cracked stone bricks. Teach cracked stone bricks. Um, smooth redstone. And I don't have any any of the other one. But I do want to teach here then the general brick recipe as well. This one here, and also the nether brick recipe, this one here, great. Done. Now I can bring these items to the warehouse, take these items to the warehouse. Here we go. Great, done. Mm -hmm. dum -dum, dum -dum. So we're getting our crafters set up even to a level before um, of the, our last colony. If you guys remember our last colony, we streamed from our Acacia and Sandstone colony. We had less crafters set up than in this colony. So we are kind of more efficient with this colony I have a feeling because now we kind of have the craft cycles already to a certain degree set up something we had only very late set up in the other colony so I feel we're doing some very decent progress I wanted to check for the... yeah, it's fine yes, I guess so um, it's getting fairly late here already. We're an hour and 50 minutes almost streaming. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Even if it was partially without shaders. <laughs> Due to night in them breaking the shaders. Um, I hope you still had fun. Um, if you want to support our mod development, you can follow, subscribe and become a Patreon. Patreons get access to this neat little server and there are some other nice benefits of becoming a Patreon too. Um, I hope I see you guys tomorrow at the stream again and else until tomorrow then. Ciao ciao and good night everyone. It was Optify and Raking Mind Colonies. That's, that's actually uh, the correct point. True. And good night, everyone.